I got asked this question a little while ago. How do I compare data in one column to data in another column and look for duplicates? And I'm going to show you how to do this, but before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of these videos for you. So you can see that I have an, a, a column of data here in a, in a Google Sheet uh, sheet called Registrations. And then I have another sheet in here called Attendees. These are all the people who attended. These are all the people who registered. Now if you look at the list, there's 100, 100 names here. If you look at Attendees, there's probably only 78 names here. So that means some of these people did not attend even though they registered. So how do we look and see if these registration names are in the attendee list of names? Here's how you do this. First of all, the best thing I recommend do is use a, a, a range name. So I'm gonna name this right here. I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna take this date. I don't need the header. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select all of this with control down arrow, highlight all that. And then I'm gonna do data and I'm gonna do named range. And I'm going to say attendees. I'm going to do attended. Attended. And the range that I'm naming is the attendees sheet right here, this sheet, and data A2 through A78. The whole list except for the header right there. I hit done. Now, I don't need that anymore. I just need to know attendees is what it's called. Now, what I need to do is come back to registrations. And in registrations, I need to put, write a formula that will look in that data range called attended and see if this name, Harper Ness, is in that data. Now, I have to write a formula here that does a VLOOKUP for this data over in that name range called attended. Now, let me show you a quick little tip. If I want to know how to write a function, if I have not written it in a while, click on Help and do Function List, and it brings this up. And I did a lookup already, a search for VLOOKUP, and here's what it's going to do. V vertical lookup searches down the first column of a range for a key and returns the value of a specified cell in the row family. Now, so here's the function, VLOOKUP, search key in this range, index this number of cells, and mark it as sorted as not sorted. By the way, this is really cool. Watch this. I can copy that, start at the top, and paste that right there. Now I have to edit this. First of all, i got to put an equal sign in front of it, which means I'm writing a formula. Then I need to replace search key. What's the search key I'm looking for? In this case, I'm looking for what's in A2. So just put an A2. Now, what range do I want to look in? The range I want to look in is that named range I wrote called attended. Right there, attended. Now, I want to index. How far do I want to index? I want to index, I think I want to index one. And then is sorted, I'm going to put in here false. Now, look, before I've even completed the formula, because I have put all the right uh, data in the VLOOKUP, it tells me that doing a VLOOKUP for A2 in the named range attended, go, get the first column, re, report the first column, and look, it found Xavier Larson. And I wrote false because that data is not false, not sorted. So hit enter, and look, I can autofill. And look here. This is really cool. All the ones marked NA are not over in the attendee list. It's not in here anywhere. So very clearly where it sees the Xavier or Jemiah, these names, it returned the name. Where it returned NA, it's not in there. And if I want to be really cool, look here. Now I can hit the down arrow. I can sort this A to Z. Actually, let me sort it the other way around, Z to A. And all the NAs are names of people who did not attend even though they did register. So the bottom line is the, way, the easiest way to compare data in one column to data in another column is to name the column you're looking in, give it a named range, and then write a formula that says look up this data in that name range, report that data back, the first column is that data, and then I put the word false because that data that I'm looking in is not sorted. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. Practice using this and you will get really good at it.